These obituaries are brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Funeral services for Jewel D. Blanton Kilgo, age 85, of West Salem, Ohio, will be Tuesday at Ryan's Creek Baptist Church interment in the adjoining cemetery. She will lie in state from 10 to 11 a.m. at the church. The family will receive friends today uh, from 5.30 until 9 p.m. at the funeral home this evening. Hansville Funeral Home is directing. Ms. Mary Elizabeth McAnally, age 73 of Coleman, passed away on August 2nd at her residence. Funeral services will be today at Moss Service Funeral Home Chapel at 3 p.m. The Reverend Tim Rice will officiate interment in Coleman City Cemetery. Funeral services for Mr. James Eric Spiegel, age 34 of Coleman, will be held uh, tomorrow in the Moss Service Funeral Home Chapel. Burial will follow at Old Center Cemetery in Winston County with Reverend Ricky Maccabee officiating. The family will receive friends at the funeral home. And those are our obituaries for today, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. It's back to school time, and remember, a child's safety is crucial. Parents teach students to stand at least 10 feet from the road if they're waiting on the bus. Find out school procedures and rules. Make sure backpacks or school bags are acceptable. Let's make this a memorable back to school year. Premier Bank presents Today on 2. It is Monday, the 4th day of August. This is Twins Day. Twins Day? Twins Day. Okay, I don't have a twin. <clears throat> Do you have a twin? <clears throat> no, I don't. Okay. <laughs> we should have had Robin Lambert on the show today. Robin Lambert is a twin. Okay. So I was trying to think of twins that I know. Yeah. Interesting thing about twins. I was reading a, a book yesterday, as a matter of fact, Magicians use twins, identical twins, oh. frequently. Oh. If you've ever seen an illusionist where somebody's on the stage and then they disappear and then they come from oh. somewhere else. Oh. Makes sense. Makes yes. sense. Hmm. Sorry I gave it away. I know. <laughs> Gee, that's not very good. That's not very good at all. You're you wondering, just... how did they do that trick? <laughs> <laughs> it's two different people. people. Okay. <laughs> Well, okay, this is the 4th of August. Let's start with the weather forecast for today. Our weather brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. 
The weather almanac in Coleman, Alabama, the average high remains 92, the average low 66, the record high 105 in 1947, the record low 54 in 1950. Sunset will be at 746 and sunrise tomorrow at 6 o'clock. There's the satellite picture. It looks pretty good over the southeast. Boy, really nice weather this morning. Here's our forecast for today. It will be sunny, a slight chance of rain with a high of 91. Overnight low tonight, 66. Tomorrow, sunny day again with a high of 92. And the rest of the week, 93 on Wednesday and Thursday, 90 on Friday, cooling off just a little bit on the weekend, but better chances of rain on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I guess. But okay. typical summertime weather now. Yeah. I think we had our, what, almost two week break? Yes. Yes, a that was wonderful weather. Very good, very good. Oh, yeah. it has been awesome. Let's check our Facebook friend for today. Kim Kurtz Spicer, and she uh, uh, she is actually no longer living here in Coleman, but she, I think that's her whole family. Yep, that's all the boys. <laughs> oh my Kim goodness! Kim lives in Decatur, Illinois. How about that? Mm -hmm. So, and she of course was uh, with uh, the child. I mean, uh, victim services. Right. I think she's doing something very similar with mm -hmm. a different, uh, a diff similar organization where she moved. But we miss her. But we're so glad she's our friend. And so, if she wants to come back sometime and pick up that certificate so she can get her large barbecue <laughs> sandwich, or should we ship it to her? <laughs> Anyway. Well, you know, this is appropriate because the two youngest boys are twins. Well, okay then. <laughs> <laughs> and Larry Baker had twins, right? He uh -huh, had a set of twin right. boys. Uh -huh. yeah. And then Terry McCann. Do you know Terry McCann? Yes. He He's an twin. identical twin. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, that, wow, we're yeah. thinking about so, all that. So, yeah, I think about all kinds of twins that we're having today. Yeah. Talking yeah. about twins, yes. I had some twins that visited me yesterday. Okay. They looked pretty much like they were twins. Yeah. <laughs> These little baby raccoons, they came by, they stopped by yesterday afternoon. Apparently their mama is missing. Oh, no. And uh, Yes, and is there another photo I, put, I sent two? I don't know if they got, yeah, there they are. So I fed them some apples and uh, <laughs> they were very shy, but they did eat the apples. And I'm just, I don't know what to do with them. I don't want to harm them, but mama hasn't been around in a couple of days. So, so are you going to adopt? No, <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to see if somebody will come and get them today. Yeah. Somebody might be interested. I had I made a phone call, and so I think. Okay. I think. Because I thought, gosh, what do you do with wild animals? I know. They're abandoned. Yeah. I feel so sorry for them, well, yeah. and I don't want my dogs to get involved with them because I right. don't want them to fight with my dogs or give my dogs anything, and I don't want my dogs to scare them. Yeah. So. I don't know. We'll see. But okay. I just haven't seen Mama around, and so I thought for sure. But I got home Sunday afternoon, and they were there, they were there right in the middle of the drive in the middle of the day. Oh, wow. Yeah. I thought, hmm, okay. And looking hungry. <laughs> and looking very hungry. They looked oh. kind of weak. So gave them some water wow. and some, I gave them apples and carrots and some dog food, but they seemed to really like the apples, so. I hate those. So well, we'll they're, see. They're not going to go away anytime soon as long as you feed them. I know. I know. But I couldn't just let them sit there and starve. I had to do something. Right. So we'll see. And I don't guess animal control comes and picks up Probably raccoons. Not. I mean, they're yeah. not rabid or anything. They're, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, anyway. Well, let's see. Who's come to see us today? Well, Dr. Doreen Griffith is here, and she is, of course, the uh, city school superintendent uh -huh. for the whole city, and we're glad to have her back, and it is the first day of school. Well, school will start this week. It's not the first day yet, but um, so the teachers are coming. Teachers come back Getting today. back in and all that good stuff. So anyway, that's what we're geared up for today. Okay. We'll talk to Dr. Griffith right after this. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. coming back if you win, yeah, right? You're exactly right. Tim, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Let's go back and with you that came a little bit if you will. Yeah, yeah. 
It's meeting in the regional game um, tomorrow night. In the home opener, the Eagles are going to travel to Cordova and Walker County this Friday evening. Looking to remain. Johnny Thornton analyzes Coleman Bearcat football. Coleman County kickoff is set for 7 o'clock this Friday night. Good luck, Coach, to you. That's how fast the health information technology profession is projected to grow this decade. That's how much a health information technician can make in the first year. Who will you be? Be one of us and get in a Wallace state of mind. There's stuff around your house, but we don't make stuff. We make ovens. Dual fuel double ovens. And they bake so evenly that now delicious is something you can depend on. We only make things for one room, the best room, your kitchen. We're devoted to it, and you can feel it in everything we make. Nobody knows the kitchen like KitchenAid. Beep, 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 his horn went beep, beep, beep. It's back to school time, and remember, a child's safety is crucial. Parents teach students to stand at least 10 feet from the road if they're waiting on the bus. Find out school procedures and rules. Make sure backpacks or school bags are acceptable. Let's make this a memorable back to school year. Our guest today is Dr. Doreen Griffith, superintendent of the Coleman City Schools. Doreen, good to have you back on the program. Thank you. Happy to be here. What do parents need to know for school starting next week? Well, we're ready. We're ready for them. That's one thing. Um, our, we've worked very hard this summer. Our principals have been busy, and we've already got teachers in preparing rooms. But our teachers start this week, and, and they'll be ready to welcome students. So we say come prepared to have a great year. Um, come prepared for um, increased learning. And I think there's just going to be a real excitement about this year. And of course, we've got to talk about the high school just oh, yeah. a little bit because I go by there often, <laughs> and that it's really progressing and coming along. But obviously, it's not going to be ready. That's right. Yeah. That's the, I guess that's the big news of this mm -hmm. summer. Up until about a month ago, we really thought we might make it. The inside is much more. It looks much more complete than the outside does right now. But they've really uh, they've been on an aggressive schedule, but they are running a little bit behind. They're having a difficult time getting some materials in. We found suppliers don't keep things in inventory like they used to. And if one thing goes wrong, there's a delay on woodwork. There's a delay on getting supplies. So it looks comfortably like we'll have everyone in the main part of the building in November, the first part of November. Okay. Okay. Should be overall um, finished with the main part in October and uh, then that gives us time to just have everything in place our technology checked out we felt like we were going to be running the contractor out as we came in and this way it's a comfortable move mm -hmm. we plan on having our students help us make that move and it should be very quick and very painless and then um, but our teachers are prepared now to go ahead and hit school be ready to teach in the in what they've been in mm -hmm. and then we'll make that move um, when we're ready and so we're ready for instruction it's just not where we wanted to be but right. we're ready for yeah. instruction but it is going to be fabulous oh. when y'all are done oh absolutely we're, we're excited to be able to welcome the community in to, mm -hmm. end to see it is just going to be a wonderful community place a place that we want our students to want to come and stay and even be there at night to do research and things like that but it will be fabulous and we're we're planning an event to welcome everybody in oh, but good. It, it is it's going to yeah. be a showcase i was nice. thinking about for students or parents who have not been by the campus since school dismissed in May, whatever, are really going to be shocked they will to see be. how much has taken place yes. this summer. Right. Yeah. As I was Definitely. sharing with you, the interior 
um, is actually more complete than this what you could see on the outside right. they started back there and are working their way around with the panels so it it is really a lot more finished on the outside we have to have the courtyard finished because that's how our students will access the campus because the parking lot we still have buildings in it and that's a phase two project right. and so once the parking lot is completed probably around December January then you will be able to see you know the magnificent front and right. so it, it is it's going to be a wonderful place well good anything else going on with the other schools well we one of the big things that we worked on this year is our safety looking at ways that we can increase safety across our system with surveillance and also with locking up doors and we've done some Alice training with our students so now, what is that Alice training is um, a response to if there were an active shooter in your building okay. how we react to that is different we used to just hunker down in a place in a room mm -hmm. and now we're trying to instruct students to be an active part we find that if they were making noise or doing something uh -huh. right. we might be able to not have a shooter be as active so that's something you'll see a little bit more rollout this year last year was more of um, let, you know let's get acquainted with it let's look with it right. we trained a lot of our teachers and now we're ready to roll out to students right and so we've really looked at safety in our buildings and and uh, look, looked at upgrading that and and making sure that we're making our campuses as safe as we possibly can so that's something we've looked at our strategic plans in place and updating that this year and we've come with some shared value statements that we feel like every student deserves within our system to know that they'll have in their class mm -hmm. and so those are some of the big things that we've been working on yeah you know it's safe to, I, you talk about this and everything I think it's great we need this but isn't it a shame yes. that we need this yes that you have to spend time absolutely. on something like this absolutely but you do I mean you never know when something tragic like this might happen if, and if so you're, yeah if you're planned if you have a plan for it then mm -hmm. there is safety in it right. and so that's what we feel like if we plan right. for it hoping we never have to use exactly. it of course exactly. then well, it's like a fire drill absolutely you know. and we do those regularly right so right. We, now yeah. we're going to do these kinds of drills also right. just to plan and so yeah. um, we feel we feel good about that rollout but the students will really have more access to yeah. knowing how they should act in that kind of a have drill you had any change in principles <laughs> We have, schools. we have not, happily so. We have all five of our principals back in place and um, no new assistant principals either. So uh, no change in leadership. We, we probably have hired about 10 to 12 new teachers. Okay. And so that is, that's pretty big for us. Mm -hmm. um, but we had some retirements and um, a couple of uh, moves and uh, actually moves with our instructional aides, but retirements. And so we're welcoming in some awesome teachers this last year this last week we had our uh, te new teacher Institute and we welcome those teachers to our system so they're ready to Good. add value to what we have already going in our system and when does school actually start the 13th for students okay. uh, the 7th this Thursday is when we'll have our big Institute we're going to be doing that at Wallace at the new uh, Center of Nursing and uh, Science Center yeah. so we're very excited the School of Nursing and Science Center um, and it we're after Institute that ends at 10 we have a technology expo that we have planned for all of our staff and that is a beautiful facility oh, and is, we appreciate yeah. Wallace so much for sharing that facility yeah. with us but we have all kinds of classes for our staff members and teachers to experience we'll have lunch for them and it's going to be a fabulous day so that's this Thursday well good all right well the kids are going to, are they ready back to go back to school you think I I keep seeing them peeking up at school you know when I I'm over at the schools of course they say the teachers sometimes like to nest so they start getting their rooms ready right and then of course we see some students peeking around so I think they're ready I think they're ready and we're ready for them well good then thank you Dr. Griffith Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. We'll be back with more right after this. Way down in the heart of Dixie and Coleman, USA. We grow sweet potatoes a good old-fashioned way Get on by the bushels a dozen by the score 
it come and sweet potatoes at your local grocery store. Meet the KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. It might just change the way you cook. Induction technology heats the pan and not the cooking surface to offer you a new level of precision, speed, and energy efficiency. Nine settings give you different levels of heat to achieve precise temperatures and amazing responsiveness. Water boils in just seconds, making this the fastest to boil induction cooktop available. The KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. In the nation, we worry about fire-breathing monsters. And we worry about spinach. At Nationwide Insurance, we take care of the big things like protecting you, so you only have to worry about the little stuff. We put members first, because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation that doesn't sweat it. Nationwide is on your side. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Back to school time, and remember, a child's safety is crucial. Parents teach students to stand at least 10 feet from the road if they're waiting on the bus. Find out school procedures and rules. Make sure backpacks or school bags are acceptable. Let's make this a memorable back to school year. Okay, we continue with more of today on two. It's time for our merchant ads. And our prizes for today, the barbecue, family barbecue pack from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. And we have the large five topping pizza from Coleman Pizza Hut. One more prize, I do believe. They're going to leave us in suspense. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, the day pass to the Wellness and Aquatic Center, Ooh. admitting six people to the Wellness and Aquatic Center. Those are the prizes. Let's start looking at our ads for today. Tires for less, Bridgestone and Firestone tires, but they are more than just tires. They do oil changes, minor engine repair, replace shocks and brakes, and do alignments. Chastley Oaks Golf Course opens 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., seven days a week, an 18-hole golf course, full practice facility, beautifully manicured bent greens, and four sets of tees to suit golfers of all abilities. Earl's Body Shop voted best automotive repair in Coleman, and of course they do towing, 24-hour towing available, that's Earl's Body Shop. And there's Pizza Hut. On Tuesdays, it's $10 family-sized pasta. And on Wednesdays, it's 50-cent wings. All you can eat for a lunch buffet, also available. The blizzard of the month for the month of August is Chips Ahoy at Dairy Queen. Chips Ahoy. Oh, that'll be a good one, too. Remember the five-buck lunch every day, and that includes dessert. Serve from 11 till 4. And Renard's Gallery and Gifts, where they have jewelry, framing, prints available. Renard's Gallery and Gifts is right there on First Avenue. Check them out. Go shopping at Renard's Gallery and Gifts. Harvell Homes in Coleman and Good Hope, where they have houses and apartments for rent. Two to six bedroom single family homes and one to two bedroom apartments. Heritage Park, I think that one's over, right? Because yep. Uh, yep. we're done. We're no in August concerts. already. <laughs> But I hope everybody enjoyed the concerts while they were here, and they'll come back again next summer. Mr. Hicks Men's Wear, regular big and tall size clothing, formal wear, tuxedos available for rent at Mr. Hicks Men's Wear. 
and Mad Dog Mike's famous barbecue available for $14.99. It's the family barbecue pack. It includes a pound of meat, two 16 ounce sides, and four buns located right there inside the Berlin Quick Stop. There we go with some of our merchant ads for today. Question for today should be an easy one. Everybody always knows the blizzard of the month at Dairy Queen. Yeah. So what is the blizzard of the month for August? We just showed you that. We did. That's, That's the question for today. Too. You win barbecue from Mad Dog Mike's Barbecue. You win pizza from Coleman Pizza Hut. The day pass to the Wellness and Aquatic Center. Our number is 256-734-7399. And they said we have a caller think, ready think, to go. I think that's what they okay, said. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Uh, who's on the line, please? This is Larry. Hi, Larry. From where are you calling? Uh, okay, what's the blizzard of the month at Dairy Queen? The chips are hard. You, you got attention. it right. Way to go, Larry. <laughs> Stay on the line, please. Thanks for calling in. Yeah, Chips Ahoy, and good. Larry wins all the stuff. Okay. okay, let's look at the rest of our merchant ads right now. Starting with Brown & Company Beverages, keeping you cool this summer. Chill out, visit the Beer Cave. They have beer and wine, local, domestic, imported, and regional. Brown & Company Beverages. Auto Tech Repair and Service. TechNet Professional Auto Service. Available. Major engine repairs, transmissions, brakes, foreign and domestic cars. Doesn't really matter. Right there in the Vinemont area. Mullins Body Shop. Over 50 years they've been doing auto body repair and towing. You can count on them today and every day. Mullins Body Shop. Jim and Nick's Community Barbecue. They give you their best. They're located right there at 1851 Cherokee Avenue, kind of across from Walmart. And of course, they've got great barbecue. They've got sandwiches and salads. Grand Point Pharmacy has a gift shop and a coffee bar. And of course, they make managing your prescriptions easy because managing your health is hard enough. Grand Point Pharmacy, Highway 31 North. And Cotton State Barns, buy or rent to own these buildings. And barns starting as low as $14.96. They also have carports and play sets, utility trailers, storage buildings. Jolly Time Rentals, they have the license inflatables, the slides, the water slides, obstacle courses, and so forth. They also have concession equipment for rent. Jolly Time Rentals. And Night Free Insurance Agency, providing insurance coverage now for over three generations. It is one of the top ten growth agencies in the state of Alabama for auto owners. That's Night Free Insurance. And It's My Party balloons in all shapes and sizes, singing telegrams from Lulu the Gorilla. It's My Party on 2nd Avenue Southeast. And Deb's Bookstore, where they have gift certificates available. It's your hometown bookstore just down the road where browsers are always welcome. Used books are half price off every day. New books are 20% off every day. There we go with our merchant ads for today. Coming up next, our community billboards. And we'll see who has a birthday for today. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. That's how fast the health information technology profession is projected to grow this decade. That's how much a health information technician can make in the first year. Who will you be? Be one of us and get in a Wallace state of mind. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Fire. Accident. Storm. They all happen in Coleman County. And for three generations, Night Free Insurance has been there for you. Continuing today with Elliott and Westcott Free, customizing your life, home, auto, and business insurance with companies like Auto Owners, State Auto, and Southern Guarantee. Call Westcott, Elliott, Judy, Tina, Angie, or Nelda. Night Free Insurance, where people are the difference. Beep, 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 hear 
this horn with beep, beep, beep. It's back to school time, and remember, a child's safety is crucial. Parents teach students to stand at least 10 feet from the road if they're waiting on the bus. Find out school procedures and rules. Make sure backpacks or school bags are acceptable. Let's make this a memorable back to school year. Let's take a look at those community billboards brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. Party in the Park on Friday, August the 8th at Depot Park. $8 in advance, $10 at the door. Children under 13 free is going to have grilled food and drinks and snacks available for purchase. And they're featuring Act of Congress. And Regional Sculptors Invitational Exhibit. It's the Evelyn Burrow Museum right there at Wallace. And it's going on until September the 30th. Museum hours are Tuesday through Friday from 9 until 5. Saturday from 10 until 2. And if you have a community billboard you'd like to share, you can send it to our webpage, channel2coleman.com, phone us 256-734-7399, or be a friend on Facebook, Channel 2 Coleman. And we would like to wish Rita Dean, Ken Brown, and Parker Adams a happy birthday. Their name will be put into the drawing where they might have the possibility of winning an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen on Friday. And we have a couple of anniversaries. Jeff and Cindy Harris and Scotty and Ellen Morrison are celebrating their anniversary. Their name will be put into the drawing on Friday where they have the $15 gift certificate available from the Candle Garden. And let's check out the weather forecast, or weather brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. It'll be sunny today, a slight chance of rain with a high of 91. This is an old forecast. Overnight low tonight of 66 and sunny tomorrow with a high of 92. Well, who's going to come and see us tomorrow? Well, let me take a look at that. Uh, Debbie Ritter will be here. She's got some miniature dolls, I think, that she's going to be, I think, talking about. You're never too old to play with dolls mm. if you're a girl. Well, I'll tell you, women, there are a lot of women out there that collect these things. Oh, Doesn't okay. matter how old you get. You're right. They collect okay. them. So <laughs> <laughs> That's our show for today, brought to you by Premier Bank. Hope you have a great day.